know when we're on the road, we depend on our seat belts, our brakes, our airbags to protect us, our children, and our families. But can we really rely on new automated safety features? Automatic emergency braking, it's standard on all new vehicles, and most of us probably already have it. Fox Routine's Kate Beery investigates whether your money is paying for a false sense of security on the roads. You just watched a Chevy Equinox fail AAA's emergency braking test. But why are we here? First, let's buckle up and go for a drive in Hernando with Leah Heath. It jerks the wheel, it kind of moves back and forth. She told us the automatic emergency braking on her 2019 Honda CRV has falsely triggered at least three times over three years, slowing her down suddenly and unexpectedly. Federal regulators are investigating the unexpected braking in her model of SUV. At least one time was on the interstate. It's supposed to make you feel safe, but does it? No. <laughs> Don't want to hit the Fox 13 car, though. We could not trigger her automatic emergency braking with our news car. Mm -mm. Yeah. Or this trash bin. Back to AAA's test. The nonprofit tested four vehicles with automatic emergency braking features. At 30 miles per hour, the safety feature prevented 85% of rear end crashes. But at 40 miles per hour, automatic emergency braking only prevented 30% of crashes in AAA's test. And in left-hand turn tests, AAA found the automatic emergency braking did not prevent a single crash. Alarmingly, 100% of the time, this technology failed. Are car manufacturers selling a false sense of safety? It's hard to say if that's true or not. Um, really what AAA is, is wanting automakers to do is really evolve um, these systems. Technology will fail, but lives are literally at stake on the road. Anytime you're driving in traffic, you know, you are risking your life. I think that's very alarming. Personal injury attorney Ryan Saharovich told me he is troubled by the AAA test results. The higher speed you're going and the higher speed and impact occurs, the more likely it is that more significant injuries are going to occur as well. Automakers warned that automatic emergency braking is not designed to prevent all collisions and that drivers still must pay attention at all times. Products break. Machines fail. Attorney Austin Alders is involved in cases where drivers allege automatic emergency braking caused crashes. How might these safety features potentially work against the instincts that we've developed as drivers? It might cause people to be less defensive. How dangerous is it to live in a world with drivers who are less on the defense than they were before? Extremely dangerous. We're still people, we're still humans, right? We have human error. Um, it's even worse when you don't try and when you're just depending on something else to take care of everything for you. Collision mitigation system off. And you have to turn off that button every time you drive. Every time I turn the car off and then turn it back on. Keith told me she has lost all confidence in some of her automatic safety features. Are these features actually helping with safety on the road? I just don't think it's safe. He has reached a breaking point, choosing instinct over innovation, knowing that technology alone won't make or break her safety on the road. Kate Beery, Fox 13. Researchers with the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety believe that the technology is saving lives. They want automatic emergency braking improved to work better at higher speeds and to better detect pedestrians at night.